So hello, Suzanne, and you're joining us again for another uh, episode, another interview. And this time, uh, can you share what the topic is? Um, my topic is songs at Christmas time that have nothing to do with Christmas. I see. Okay, well, that's a pretty interesting topic, and we are still in, the, in that season. Tonight uh, is Christmas Eve. Uh, oh, not Christmas Eve, I'm sorry, New Year's, <laughs> New Year's Eve. And uh, I will... Well, once, well, see, once uh, New Year's is behind us, um, we still have about at least two and a half months uh, of winter, and yet there are some songs um, that we hear abundantly at Christmas time that we never hear again once New Year's has passed, and the songs I'm thinking about uh, have nothing to do with Christmas. Right. So you think that's, uh, what, a travesty? Is it wrong? What, what is your feeling? Why did you pick this topic? Um, because the songs I'm thinking of um, uh, do not have the word Christmas anywhere in their texts. Uh, and also, I, I I urge the listeners to obtain copies of the words to these songs and read them over carefully, and they'll and they'll see uh, for, with their own eyes uh, what my point is. Okay, so do you want to? You have a list of what about eight? You said? Um, yes, yes, I have a list. All right. Well, let's get started. What will be your? Are we going to start with number eight or number one? Is there order of this of importance or uh, just random? No, no. It, 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 no, the order in which I state them has, has no significance. Um, I I wrote them down as I remembered them, but uh, but the order in which I give the names does not make any difference. There's no significance okay. as to. Uh, uh, importance or uh, uh, or anything like that. All right. Well, let's let's start with the first one. And jingle bells. Okay. So you you believe the jingle bells is not appropriate for Christmas? I I say um, it should be continue. It should continue to be heard. Um, once the holidays are past, because uh, uh, Jingle Bell says nothing uh, about Christmas or New Year's. It's a general wintertime song, and so are all the others that I'm thinking of. But isn't there, a, you know, the thing about the, the Christmas bells and that kind of stuff? No, no, they don't. Uh, 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 they, they just say Jingle Bells. Okay, how about Jingle Bells, Santa Smells? Is that appropriate? Somebody, uh, somebody made that up as a practical joke, so it's not a real song. Okay, so Jingle Bells it's would not be... not a ballad song. Okay, so we should uh, not consider Jingle Bells Christmas song. Um, from, from just before Thanksgiving through um, at New Year's, we hear the songs I'm thinking about uh, abundantly. If we all sing them ourselves, we always hear them sung by others, or or we hear them uh, perpetuated um, uh, on the streets, or uh, um, more likely on the radio, or on sound systems in the workplaces. Mm -hmm. So you, you think... And you may not always hear people singing them, you just hear the uh, instruments uh, playing the song. So you think people are falsely under the impression that that's a Christmas song? Yes. And and, and who, like I said, the listener should uh, um, get copies of the song's text, and they'll see for themselves that the, the lyrics are about only winter in general. Who are we to blame for this uh, belief that's false? Is there somebody we should blame for this false belief that everybody's under impression that's a Christmas song? I don't, I don't know, I don't know who first thought of um, fostering those songs only, only at Christmas time. But they, but they made a big mistake. 
Okay, is there a way that we can correct that? Continue uh, to play uh, the songs I'm, I'm thinking of um, all through the winter. So who's number two on the offenders list? Um, Jingle Bell Rock. Okay, and there's no mention in Christmas there at all? No, it isn't. No mention of Santa or any of that? No. Well, see, that's, um, well, well, that's what makes... The thing about these songs worse, it's it's not it's not so much um, no mention of Christmas as uh, there's no references to the nativity. Right, no no Jesus. Yeah, okay, I have to remember that the nativity is uh, infinitely more important than Santa Claus. Yes, yeah, I think we can all agree on that. But so, but isn't Jingle uh, Jingle Bell Rock just a variation on the uh, Jingle Bells? Yes. So would they be like sharing the same spot, maybe, or or we you consider them two separate songs? Um, they were written by different people, so they're separate songs. Um, although definitely Jingle Bell Rock came out far more recently than the original Jingle Bells did. Do you, do you know which year Jingle Bells came out? What? Do you know the year which the songs came out? No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's move on to number three. Who's number three? Sway ride. Okay. So once again, just the winter reference, but no, no Christmas, no Jesus, no Santa Claus. That's right. Um, you might have heard the uh, melody sometimes. It's a rather familiar melody to me. I became acquainted with it when I was a little girl. Uh, you can remind me. I'm not. I'm not that. Uh, familiar with that one. Maybe when you when you remind me, I'll I'll remember it. Oh right, okay, right. Yes, Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, I heard it played just by instruments and also by uh singers. Because it, uh, cause the way it was originally written, it concludes with a horse whinny. Uh, but because it doesn't mention Christmas specifically, you, you feel that sh- that that can be sang for another couple of months. That, that's right. Okay. Any Anything in those lyrics in those last three songs you mentioned that, that is offensive to you or is just not just appropriate for Christmas only? It's appropriate for the whole winter. But uh, maybe it shouldn't be done at Christmas time because, um, well, people are look forward, looking forward to winter, or uh, they think they think there should be snow uh, for Christmas. But uh, but but the lyrics don't say anything about Christmas. It's just mm-hmm. winter in general. Okay, so who is number four on, the, on our offending list? Frosty the Snowman. Ah, that Frosty, yes. Yes, Frosty. It's just about a snowman, but no mentions of anything else. Yes. Okay, I guess that that certainly is not about anything else but Frosty the snowman. Yes. Okay, any any peculiar uh, lyrics in that one that you like or dislike? It's not that I don't like the lyrics. It's that uh, it's perpetuated um, less time than it should be. All right, and number five? Winter Wonderland. Okay, well, that's about the winter, so that kind of fits what you mentioned. But, uh, well, it's about two, it's about two people uh, um, observing the wonders of winter, but, uh, but it doesn't say anything about Christmas. Yes, the winter wonders of shoveling snow and scraping ice off your car, yes. No, no, it doesn't say anything about uh, scraping ice off the car. And then, yeah, it, it's the very first phrase is sleigh bells ring. Yeah, I, I was just kidding. Um, okay, then so number six. Sleepy snowflake. Oh, okay, but that that's the song that you used as inspiration for your latest outfit that was sang by uh, Rosemary Clooney? It's, well, it's a character, but it's... Uh, well, it's strictly a winter character. It's not. Uh, she's not a Christmas character. I did her for uh, uh, 
four uh, Christmas parades earlier uh, this month, but um, but but none of the lyrics uh, say anything about Christmas. It, it strictly dwells on that, her coming to town to uh, um, satisfy people. In in which way? Well, not to say that's why that song isn't. Uh, played uh, every time there's a snowstorm, or 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 the or the next song on my list um, is something that should be played whenever there's a snowstorm. Okay, so we're only left with one more, right? No, we're left with two more. Oh, two more. Okay, so this will be number seven. Um, let it snow. Okay, well, I can see that. Isn't that, but it's not really a Christmas song, is it? No, it isn't. It's about the, um, getting together, um, eating warm food, and romancing, and preparing to go home in the middle of a snowstorm. It's kind of a romantic uh, song, but uh, but the phrase "let it snow" repeats three times um, every time. Uh, you have another phrase that ends with the O sound. Yes, and and what is more romantic than driving through a horrible snowstorm with someone? Um, it doesn't say that uh, that someone goes home uh, in a car. It says uh, how I hate going out in the storm, but if you hold me tight all the way home, I'll be warm. That doesn't. That doesn't say anything about the mode of transportation. No, that's that's true. So as long as you live close and you can walk home with you, it's okay. And then we have one more, right? Um, marshmallow world. Hmm. I'm I'm not even familiar with that one. Well, I don't think it's that well known. Um, I learned it when I was in um another. A singing group uh, in the uh, early 70s. Um, now that too was just winter in general because it describes um, uh, the uh, scenario as it's a marshmallow world in the winter. It's a whipped cream day. Um, okay, so uh, um, yeah, there's snow all around and uh, um, the composer thinks it looks like a um, landscape of marshmallows or uh, whipped cream, but uh, but there's no mention of Christmas. That's like the... Yeah, I I kind of forgot all about it um, until just until just this uh, just this Christmas season because uh, you heard me say how uh, uh, Christmas carols and sometimes uh, songs that have nothing to do with Christmas are uh, are fostered on workplaces sound systems oh okay so at your work they were playing all these songs so um no there wasn't anybody singing it it was just instruments but i recognized the melody yeah yeah I, i'm not sure i ever heard that song. maybe i did i just don't remember and about snow and how they can uh, compare it to uh, marshmallows and whipped cream yeah it doesn't taste the same Snow doesn't taste the same. Um, now, now, can you think of any other songs? Are you familiar with the, any other songs um, uh, fostered during the month of December that uh, whose whose lyrics really have nothing to do with Christmas? Oh, uh, maybe Ace of Spades. Hmm? Ace of Spades. I never heard of that. Well, maybe I'm the only one that plays it for Christmas. That's why. Yeah, I, I can't think of any season. I think you you got the the top eight songs that people think have something to do with Christmas, but they don't. I think that's a pretty good topic. I, I well, look, when I look at the list, I don't think that uh, Susie so Snowflake or or certainly not Marshmallow World are that well known because uh, um, I revived. Uh, Susie Snowflake by impersonating her, but uh, but I had not heard the song for years. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be familiar with that unless 
Yeah, you told me about it. That's why I know about it. And then the, the last one about the marshmallows, I never heard of that. But, you know, the, the other six, uh, I certainly knew. And you, maybe people play too much at Christmas. And then by the time New Year's comes, people are sick of it. They don't want to hear it again. Well, that's why the, they overdo it at Christmas. If there are enough um, pertinent Christmas songs being uh, fostered um, all through December without um, adding uh, the ones I mentioned. Mm. Oh, now that we're speaking of, the other day, I heard a song I never heard before, and it was played at the Christmas display, and it had nothing to do with Christmas. It was called Santa's Got a Dirty Job. I never heard of that. Uh, me neither. I just heard it for the first time a couple of days ago. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Suzanne, for uh, for this update. As soon as I get home next week, I'm going to post it. People get to hear it and maybe offer their own opinion about if they agree or disagree or whatever their take is on, on your top eight songs that are mistaken for Christmas songs but are not. And uh, I hope you have a good uh, New Year's Eve and uh, all the best. I'm, I'm afraid... Uh... I'll, I'll be by myself uh, uh, New Year's Eve. Um, um, normally tomorrow I'd be in the uh, uh, Mars Parade, but uh, because New Year's Day is on Sunday this time, um, I'm obliged to uh, go to church. So is the rest of the choir uh, to sing the usual Sunday choir mass. Oh, so tonight, no, tomorrow you're going to church then. You're not going to the parade. Um, but I can't be at the parade tomorrow. I have to go to church. Now, if it hadn't been for our choir director forcing the choir uh, to get together tomorrow, I would be uh, in the Mummers Parade. I'd be going uh, to church uh, uh, this evening. Right. Well, you do that Mummers Parade, the Philadelphia Mummers Parade, every every single year. So this would be the first time you're going to miss it in a long time, right? Um. Well, they didn't. Um, they didn't have it in uh, 2021. Okay. Well, that was canceled due to COVID. But in every time they had it, you you were present. Um. Yes. So uh, that's going to be a. I think one person they're going to miss this year in Philadelphia. They won't be able to see you. But you'll be you'll be singing in your I, church. So. I doubt. Um, I doubt that uh, Philadelphia is going to miss me that much because uh, um, because the big crowds don't get together until it's time for the fancies, uh, the string bands, and and the fancy brigades. They, they really uh, dress up garishly. Right. Well, that's what they're famous for. Yeah, but I don't I don't dress up that fancily. So uh, since I always go very early uh, in the parade, uh, not that many spectators are there, and uh, and that's why I don't think anybody will miss me this time. All right, well, I'm sure you have a few fans that would notice who are used to seeing I, you. I'm sure you have a few fans who are there every year who see you, and, and they will miss you. But. Enjoy your singing in the you know in the church tomorrow, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I mean uh, New Year's Eve, and, and all the best in twenty twenty three. Well, my regards to you and the key cats for a nice twenty twenty three. Well, thank you very much, Suzanne. And when I see him tomorrow evening, I will pass on your regards. <laughs> Didn't you bring one of the cats with you? No, no, they're, they're back home. But where I'm right now, there's a there's a resident cat here. So I will I will uh, give her a little pat on the head. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell her it's from you. All right. Well, you have a good one, Suzanne. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Talk to you again next year. That's right. Next year. <laughs> All right. You be well. All right, bye-bye. Bye.